A lot of people catch northern pike, they don't know what to do with them. They're full of bones. They're full of wide bones. But Outdoor Edge, the real flex pack, it'll take care of that. This here little kit has everything you need to flay any fish. My friend, Tim Lesmeister, is gonna use a couple knives out of this kit and show you how quick and easy it is to get the wide bones out of Northern Pike using the Real Flex Outdoor Edge. We're gonna be working with the Outdoor Edge Reflex knives here. And this is really sweet because we've got a shorter blade knife that's just a little stiffer. We've got a even shorter blade that's really nice for skinning here. I love that. And then you've got your long that's got a real nice bend to it here for those back straps on these Northern Pike. So everybody wants to keep the big northern pike because it's easy to see the wide bones but i always keep the very smallest northern pike because the sm it's the smallest northern pike i think that are the tastiest first of all and those are the ones we want to clean out of the system it's all those little hammer handles that really make a, a fishery you know kind of uh, a little out of balance you might say so the smaller the pike the better as far as i'm concerned and here's an easy way to clean them now, we all know if you harvest a deer, what's one of your best uh, cuts of meat? The back strap, baby, the back strap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first take the back strap off, just like this. I go down to the backbone and I cut right across. And uh, whoops, get back here, board. I'm new to this sink. All right, now. I've got a chunk of back strap. Now as you look at this back of this pike, you'll see right I'm running along right here are some Y bones. That's the very tops of the Y bones right here. See that little white line right there. Now between the backbone and that Y bone, there is a chunk of meat, but it only goes down to about right there. So what I want to do is I want to actually stay above those Y bones when I make my next cut. And I really like using a flame board when I do this. This is, a, this is actually a good knife for both the back and the side. So watch my knife here as I stay above that line of bones right there. You can see the tips of those Y bones. Now watch my knife as I stay above those Y bones right there. See that? And I'm going, it's going to get a little higher to the, to the top. A little higher to the top. As soon as I get to the two back fins here, this whole tail piece is boneless. I can go down right there and just cut that off. That's all boneless fillet right there. All the wide bones are left right here on the pike. Now you say, oh, that's, you're losing some meat? Not really because that's meat that's full of wide bones. So what I do next, and this is with a small fish, another cut here. Let me see. It down just a little bit there we go see those white bones sticking up right there I don't want those in my meat I'm gonna stay right over the top of them with my knife just like that a little sawing action there down at the tail off she comes look at that pure fillet now garbage here we'll figure that out later clean huh now I like a little stiffer knife for cleaning. That's what's nice about this Outdoor Edge series with the three blades. Now my next cut is gonna be taking the, the meat off. Isn't that a pretty piece of pike? Completely boneless, there's not a white bone in it. I'll rinse that off and put it in the bag. Next piece. Again, I'm using a little shorter knife, it's got a little bit more of a backbone, makes for real easy skinning. Boneless Northern Pike. Now here's an interesting scenario when you're dealing with the back straps. Here's where you're going to use your thumb a little bit. 
I get my thumb right down there and I kind of press down right behind the blade. Whoops. Didn't, did not work on this one. This one's got a real, looks like a fairly uh, rounded back. So that did not work. Usually it'll, it'll work for you. We can get, there we go. I'll try again here. There we go. See, I'm just going to stay right there on that. Boom. Now, as you can see, down the middle of that back, there's a big section of muscle. I don't want to eat that. So what I'm going to do is just peel it out. Just like this. More meat. And that's all just muscle. <laughs> the walleyes. What do you see how easy those fillet up? So this is all boneless northern right there. Let me show you one now. I'm going to show you how fast it is once you've done a few of these. All right, I got that small pike. Got my back strapping knife. I bend the head and down. You'll find the sweet spot as you just work that knife. Go right towards the back. Right towards the back. You keep leaving that knife down just a little bit. All back strap. Right there's a beautiful piece of meat. Look at those lines on the back of that fish that I'm going to follow right down. Same blade. Oh, isn't that a nice little piece of meat? Oh boy. Doesn't get much tastier than fresh northern pipe, that's for sure. This is the perfect knife right here for northern pipe. Now, almost done. There we go. Now let the skinning begin. Tiny little bit of belly fat. I'm gonna get rid of that. Don't need it. Boy, I wish that board had a thing under it here. Sweet that comes off of there when you do it right. <laughs> and remember that, that little muscle chunk back there? We're gonna get rid of that. Perfect. And this one. All boneless pike filet right there. <laughs> 